welcome to my channel Corinne Star Tarot. Today I will be doing an extra special love reading for the star sign Libra. Please bear in mind that this is a general love reading so take what resonates for you and leave what does not. Please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. Remember it's free to subscribe and if you'd like to donate to help keep the channel going or purchase a private reading from me just click on the links below this video thank you so Libra let's find out what your love life has in store for you in February to March 2020 so I've already pre-shuffled the cards but I will shuffle them again for you on camera and I'm using the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck Please bear in mind that I will be reading the energy from the cards. So I could be reading your energy, your partner's energy, your ex-partner's energy, your potential love energy, a member of your family's energy or your part, um, your friend's energy. And cross watchers are welcome to join this reading. Excuse me. I'm also going to select a card from Nature's Whispers. Now I've already pre shuffled the deck, but I'll shuffle it again for you on camera. And finally, I'm going to select two cards from the Romance Angels. And again, I've already shuffled the deck, but I will shuffle it for you again on camera. Final shuffle. Right, let's begin. So you are starting off with the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is water energy, so you could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But this is perhaps you walking away from something. So leaving something behind perhaps. So perhaps you are walking away from a relationship. But this also can speak of secrets coming out. Perhaps there were things that were hidden from you and perhaps in February, February, um, so the first couple of weeks in March, perhaps secrets will be revealed to you. Your next card is the Knight of Wands. So Knight of Wands is fire energy, so you could be dealing with Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. So this is someone rushing in very quickly. They're very flirty, sexual. Uh, and it could also indicate fast communication. But this perhaps could be the person that you're walking away from. As quick as they rush into your life. They very quickly rush out of your life again 
and it's perhaps been a pattern that's perhaps been repeating itself throughout your relationship and this person is very orientated action orientated should I say and he or she will be very good at sweet talking you into perhaps uh, changing your mind or they will try anyway at the most and this is this card can sometimes indicate someone that has kind of playboy playgirl energies tendencies your next card is the knight of swords so with the knight of swords it's possible that you are speaking um some truths you know perhaps you are replying to this person via text and email perhaps you know there is fast com communication perhaps between both of you perhaps perhaps harsh words are being spoken you know because but you um you don't feel that you have been treated in the way that you should be treated you know um you know you are, are sticking up for yourself you're you're well it's not just that you're sticking up for yourself you are expressing your feelings you're telling this person how you feel and you're being very frank about it you know truthful and you know because this person has not been very fair to you and so you feel it's necessary to tell this person some truths basically and swords is air energy so you could be dealing with aquarius libra or gemini your next card is a manger arcana card the justice card so with the justice card you perhaps want a resolution perhaps to the situation that you're in you you want something for yourself that's balanced and fair you know you struggled a lot within this relationship you have tried to be fair and reasonable but this person has not reciprocated in the same way this person has not considered your feelings as as really in a way disregarded them and this is a card where you feel it is time to speak some truth it could also indicate that you are finding out some truths about the situation so in february to the first two weeks in march like i said there could be some truths something that comes to light something that you find out your next card is the lovers card so the lovers card this is a manger arcana card so with the lovers um this is a card of feeling whole being independent and progressing in your life perhaps you feel the need to make those changes in your life you i mean this can talk about harmony within a relationship i mean and i feel that this car coming up at this stage represents what you wanted or expected from this relationship perhaps at one point this was how it was perhaps there was harmony within the relationship but this card can also speak about like I said you wanting to make progress in your life making decisions that are good for you in the long run so you know you wanted some you wanted a relationship that was fair that was balanced that was supportive where there was equal love on both sides this is what you want 
from a relationship. This is what you expect from a relationship. Next we have the Page of Wands. So with the Page of Wands, this, this could be a, a gesture or something coming towards you. It might be a very small kind of offer. Perhaps this person's coming in with a small token of apology. Um, perhaps they want to try to work things out with you. I mean, this person is definitely taking action towards you. If, it, if it's not your ex, this could be a new love interest, someone that is that fancies you, that is interested in getting to know you. So it could be either one of those things. But whatever this per, whoever this person is, they're very, they're very much action orientated. They're fiery. They're creative. And it's something that's definitely coming towards you on one's energies, fire energies. So you could be dealing with Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. Your next card is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is generally a card of being independent and being in your power, perhaps um, being single. So perhaps you have decided to move on and move away from your current situation, your current relationship and work on yourself. You know, you are putting your feelings, your desires, your goals, your life first. It's not, it's good to sometimes, it's not, it's good to be selfish. We're all entitled to be selfish at times by putting ourselves first, especially if the person you'd be, you've been dealing with has completely been selfish throughout and has not considered your feelings and just focused on their needs. So, you know, in order to heal, you need to start thinking about what you need and what you want in life. And, and basically, I feel that with the Nine of Pentacles, that's what you are doing. You, you are learning to love yourself again. But this doesn't mean to say that you are closing yourself off to love completely. You are still open for love and to receive love. But for the time being, you are quite ha happy in this independent kind of energy. And pentacles is earth energy. So you could be dealing with Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. So the next card you have here is the world card and this is a major arcana card. So with the world card this is all about having emotional balance physically, mentally, um, and I suppose spiritually as well. And like I said, you've decided that you want to progress in your life, to move on. You're not happy in your situation. So, you know, you feel like you want a new start in your life. It could be that someone new, like I said, could possibly be coming in. This could represent a new person coming in. Or it could represent your ex, your partner, you know, coming in with an apology, trying to make amends. But if it's a new person coming into your life, um, you know, this, like I said, with the world card, it's a new start. It's a new chapter in your life. This card can also speak of, you know, completing a cycle. So in other words, um, ending a relationship with someone. So it could be that you are ending a relationship with your current partner and you do feel quite renewed. You know, like, like there's a renewal of hope for you, you know, moving forward. You're starting new and it's 
it's you know it's it's it could be the start of something very good for you because the world card is a very positive card to have in your deck so whatever you're moving on to or going to pursue potentially it has um a good outcome for you so let's see what nature's whispers has to offer to the reading so nature's whispers you have perfect setting so with perfect setting you are in control i think of your future you you are the one that can dictate what's next in your life you know this is because this card is all about having those goals having those visions you know because you're you're being kind and positive to yourself you know it's you're celebrating who you are you're going for your dreams your desires and and as a person you know you will grow and you will benefit from pursuing this path but this card encourages you to do that do that naturally but don't push yourself too hard still remember to relax and allow things to take their natural course and make sure that you're planting the right seeds so be vigilant be aware and listen to your inner voice so let's see what the romance angels have to add to this reading so we've got flirt so it says extend your light-hearted energy to others so yes get out there and flirt enjoy your life have fun not you know relax and chill out after what you've experienced and been through perhaps it's the time for you know just relaxing taking things easy and letting things as as nature's whispers say you know letting things go at their own pace letting things develop naturally don't rush into anything just enjoy the fun enjoy the time that you're having enjoy also discovering you but be kind to yourself at the same time And your next card is passion it says allow your heart and soul to sing with joy yes you have a lot of passions and goals and desires and dreams and this is all part of you finding that inner peace that inner balance that self-fulfillment within yourself and yes it does start with yourself but also this card can speak of you perhaps starting afresh with someone new and it's very possible that this could be a very passionate adventure a passionate kind of relationship but you know always remember to stay vigilant and listen to your inner voice enjoy those moments don't rush anything um, just remember that nothing less than 100% is worth your time and remain positive so Libra I think that was a really lovely reading for you good luck with everything I hope it all works out Thank you for joining me here at Queen Star Tarot for your extra special love reading. Before you go, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Remember, it's free to subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to purchase a private reading from me, all the details are in the description below this video. Remember that private readings are tailored more for your for your needs your for whatever you want to know and will resonate more with you remember this is a general reading so it's a reading for all libras so if you do want a 
you want to purchase a private reading from me, once you click on the link, it leads you to a form and on that form you will see a list of the different types of readings that you can purchase from me and it's as simple as that and hopefully you will decide to have a private reading from me. So finally, before I go, uh, I wish you all the best and I will see you very soon, Libra. Bye.